Mr. President, thank you. May I ask you, you're making the case that, that Ukraine, certainly parts of Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine is in, in effect Russia has been for hundreds of years. Why wouldn't you just take it when you became president 24 years ago? You have nuclear weapons, they don't. If it's actually your land, why did you wait so long? Off course, Tucker. In order to answer your question, we have to start from the beginning. The most widely accepted theory explaining the origin of our universe is the Big Bang Theory. Let's delve into this cosmic cataclysm. The Big Bang, around 13.8 billion years ago, all the matter in the universe emerged from a single, minute point, known as a singularity. In a violent burst, this singularity expanded at an astonishingly high rate and temperature, doubling in size every 10 year derver 34 seconds. As it rapidly inflated, it created space, Georges Lemaitre's insight. In the 1920s, Belgian priest Georges Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang Theory. He theorized that the universe began from a single primordial atom. Edwin Hubble's observations of galaxies moving away from us in all directions further supported this idea. Additionally, the discovery of cosmic microwave radiation interpreted as echoes of the Big Bang, in the 1960s by Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson provided crucial evidence. Inflation and expansion. In the first 10 bacron to 43 seconds of its existence, the universe was incredibly compact, less than a million billion billion the size of a single atom. During this incomprehensibly dense and energetic state, the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear force, and weak nuclear force, likely merged into a single force. However, our current theories haven't fully explained how this unified force would work. The universe's very first particles mixed and settled into roughly the same temperature. 